Recording is one of the most fun parts of music making. Whether you want to capture a vocal or record a guitar. Let's get to it. This video will explain recording in detail. But if you just want to get straight to it, it can be narrowed down into three steps. Right click the plus icon here. And click here to choose an input. Now hit record and press play. And there you have your first recording. But there are some more things that can be good to know about. Let's get into some technical stuff. For Windows, an ACO audio device driver must be selected. Press F10 to open the options, go to audio and select an ACO driver. If you have a native ACO driver for your audio interface, use that, not the FL Studio ACO. They can be named something like this. For Mac, depending on your OS, you may need to give FL Studio microphone permissions. You can allow it in the privacy and security settings. You can also ask Go for how. Now go to Options and Audio and select an audio interface through which you want to record. What you get to choose from here will look different depending on your setup. I'll use the microphone of normal iPhone headphones for this vid. Now we need to set up for the recording. Right click on the plus icon here in the playlist. This will create an audio track from which we can record. These three icons here are all you need to learn. The first one selects your input, your microphone. My current setup only has one option here, but there's a chance you see several depending on your audio interface. Select the one that corresponds with your microphone. Once selected, you might get this pop-up. It's asking if you want to set up the recording so that it can only record external audio from outside of FL Studio. Let's hit yes. You can now see the input being monitored here. So this is the earpod mic. With the next icon, you choose what to record. Through the pop-up earlier, we already set this to external input only. And this is what you want for most cases. You will learn a bit more about the other ones later in this video. At the bottom, you also get monitoring settings. This is giving you the ability to hear yourself. You can choose to always hear yourself or turn it off. When armed means that you will only be hearing yourself when the track is armed for recording, which brings us to the last icon. When this one is red, the track is ready to record. You can click it to disarm it. And now it's time to click the main record button. If it's the first time you're recording, you'll be asked by FL Studio what you're intending to record in this pop-up menu. For example, notes allow you to record a MIDI keyboard, and audio into the playlist will record our microphone. However, it's easy and works well to simply choose the option Record Everything here. You can at any time access these recording filters by right-clicking the record button to see or change what FL Studio is trying to record. But generally, there's no harm in keeping them all on. Now as a last step, make sure we're in song mode and hit space. And here we can see that it's working fine and as soon as we press pause again, the recording will stop. When recording audio from an instrument, you need to have an audio interface connected. There's a whole lot of them. Here I'm using a PreSonus audio box with a synth connected to the second input. After that, it's pretty much the same process. I'll select input 2 here. Now we can hear it. And then record. Nice! These icons are useful when recording. Countdown. This gives you a countdown of one bar before a recording starts. Loop recording. If you select a portion of your song and let this loop, this option allows you to make several recordings without having to stop in between. They will be muted by default. You can unmute them with the mute tool. Another useful setting is the metronome, which I keep activated here. It keeps track of the pulse of the song. And by the way, you can change the sound of it by right-clicking. All recordings in FL Studio are wired through the mixer. Let's showcase that. Earlier, we right-clicked the plus icon here to create our recording track. By doing so, FL Studio automatically selects a mixer insert. Here you can see that the mic is connected to insert 1 in the mixer. We can also manually select an insert. Right-click the track, go to track mode, audio track, and here you get to choose an insert for yourself. Let's go for insert 3. 
and now we're connected to insert 3 instead. Here in the mixer, we can find the same settings as in the playlist. Earlier, we chose external input only. Let's showcase why that's important. We'll route this drum loop to insert 3 as well. Right now, this won't blend with the recording, because we're only recording external audio. However, if we change this to external and mixer input, everything put through insert 3 will be part of the recording. See here. This is useful for some cases, but most of the time you want external input only. Pause here to read about the rest of them. Another thing you should be mindful of. This track here is now assigned to insert 3 in the mixer. So if we drag other sounds onto that track, they will automatically be routed to insert 3 as well. You can right click a track and choose track mode as unassigned to avoid this once you're done with the recording. And that's it. Enjoy recording.